Hi friends, this is John Kingston from JR Trading Zone. This is a simple video. How to find support and resistance using option chain. You may have heard about OI analysis. That is what I am going to talk about in this video. For a chartist, those who trade only on the basis of technical analysis using plain chart. They find the support and resistance by marking the supply and demand area. That is, they will be marking the swing highs, swing lows, where the chart is taking support, at which part the chart is turning round, in which part the top is formed, in which part the bottom is formed. They will mark that particular position and they will find the supply and demand zone. In addition, Few uh, price action traders use CPR. I will say most of the price action traders use CPR. That is central pivot range in addition to the what we say support and demand area which they have used in the chart. They will have the support and demand area in the chart. In addition to that for getting more confirmation they will be using CPR also. You know what is CPR, how we can use CPR. If you don't know, I have made a detailed video about CPR settings. You have to watch the video. I will be giving in the i button here. And after watching that video, come to this video. If you want to know what is CPR and the right settings of the CPR. Okay. In CPR, we can get the support and resistance lines when we plot the CPR in the chart. So, a price action trader now has two markings in his chart. The one he marks the support and demand area using plain chart. Next, he uses CPR in addition to his markings where he gets some levels of support and resistance. The third method which most of the technical people use is called OI analysis that is open interest analysis okay you may think I know supply and demand I am using CPR then why OI again one confusion okay why are you creating more confusions you told to study support and demand okay that's fine we learned it then you told to study about CPR that's also okay if we are able to find support and resistance using CPR and supply and demand, then why you are talking about OI analysis? If you are in the stock market, definitely you should know about each and every term in the stock market. Okay, this is also a method because most of the traders combine this method also with other methods for getting more confirmation. How they are understanding the support and resistance based on OI. This is what I want to present in this video. Explain in this video. This will be a simple video. Okay. When we open the option chain in the computer, you can find two parts. The call option and the put option. When maximum contracts or traded in a particular strike on the call option side that particular strike is called or considered as the resistance area where there is maximum number of contracts in the put option side that particular strike will be considered as the support area by the technical analyst when we open economic times and uh, channels which are speaking about stock market, they always tell the about OI analysis and open interest. You have heard this word or you might have heard this word. We should know when you are the stock market, you should know how they are finding this open interest. If you open money control, daily morning you can get a detailed report about OI. Here is the open interest and this uh, Mr. 
uh, X or Mr. Y is saying this is the support area, this is the demand area. Like that you can get a detailed report when you go to money control or any other channels related to stock market. Then we are the stock market, you know. Therefore, we should know how this technical people are finding support and resistance based on OI. Okay. One open interest means one open contract which is not closed. There will be a buyer and seller. If I am a seller, I am selling one lot contract to you and you are buying it. When 1 plus 1 is equal to one open interest. If I am selling 10 lots, you are buying 10 lots, then the open interest is 10. Because the contracts or the positions are not closed. It is open position. Therefore, when you go to the call option side, you can find different strikes and in a particular strike, there may be lot of contracts open. Okay. I will show it in the computer for getting more clarification. That particular area in the call option side is considered as resistance. Next, when you come to the put option side, there are many strikes. In a particular strike, you can see lot of contracts are open. They are not closed. Okay, that particular area is called or that particular area is considered as the support area by the technical analyst. Why it is considered as the support and why the call side contracts or maximum number of contracts on the call side is considered at resistance. This is what we want to know. Okay. I told you one open interest means one lot sold and one lot bought. Okay, that is one open interest. Then you may have a doubt. Example, at a particular strike in the call option side, there is 1 lakh open interest. Consider there is 1 lakh open interest in a particular strike. All the other strikes are having 50,000, 70,000, 25,000 or something like that. Therefore, in that particular strike, what does it mean? There are maximum numbers of buyers in that particular strike and there are maximum numbers of sellers in that particular strike. In the same manner, when you come to the put option side, consider in a particular strike, you are seeing 1 lakh open interest, 1 lakh contracts. All other strikes are having 75, 50, 25 or something like that. Now, already I told you on the put option side, when we see maximum number of contracts in a particular area or in a particular strike, Technical analyst consider that particular area or that particular strike as the support for that expiry. Why? That is the reason. Because here also there are maximum number of buyers and sellers. On the call option side also at that particular strike there are maximum numbers of buyers and sellers. Then why do we consider it in, from the seller's perspective? When a buyer is buying that particular strike, he makes money only when the market goes beyond that strike. When a buyer is buying the put option, he makes money only when the market goes below that particular strike. For example, I am telling 18,500 call option is having maximum number of what we say open interest on the upper side. On lower side, 17,500 is having the maximum number of put options. Now, 18,500 will be considered as the resistance. And 17,500 where the maximum number of put, it will be considered as the support. Why we consider from the seller's perspective? That is the main question here. Okay, because I already told you, and in a particular area where there are maximum numbers of buyers and sellers, there are equal number of buyers and sellers in the call option side. But we are telling that the market 
will face resistance at that particular point. Why? Buyer makes money only when the market moves beyond 18,500 on the upside. Because a call option buyer makes money when the market moves up. Okay. Then, when you come to the put option side, the put option buyer makes money only when the market goes below 17,500. Okay. But, on the other side, the call option seller makes money when the option strike or the when the price does not cross 18,500 on the upside and 17,500 on the downside. Okay, 17,500 there is a seller, there is a buyer. 18,500 there is a seller, there is a buyer. Why do technical analysts give more importance or give more weightage to the seller's view? That's what we want to know. Actually, to buy an option, if you are having 500 rupees, 1000 rupees, 2000 rupees, you can buy an option. But to sell an option, a lot of option, you need more than 1 lakh rupee. Plain option. Without hedging, if you want to sell one lot of option, you need nearly 1 lakh rupees. Okay. Therefore, the seller is, who is the seller actually here? The seller is the dominant persons of the market. Sellers are actually institutions. Sellers are HNIs. Okay. Sellers are actually market movers. They are institutions. They sell options, but they never buy options. They buy options for hedging. That is another purpose. Another subject, I will tell it later. But they are the option sellers. So, always people consider big people who are deploying big money or big players will win the game. So, always people consider or technical people consider on the side of option sellers. They see from the perspective of option sellers. But will it work every time? No. Definitely, it won't work every time. When the call option or the strike is crossed on the upside, always the call option, who have sold the call option on the upside, they will sell or close the position and they will move the strike even higher. If 18,500 is broken on the upper side, immediately call option sellers will start making loss. They will close the position, book the loss and they will move the position to 18,700, 19,000 or like that. They will sell that option. Then the next important thing, the HNIs or institutions can pledge their shares for option selling, but they can't buy using pledging. You can pledge the share, you are having uh, shares in your DMAT account, institutions are having uh, crores of money, they are having lot of DMAT shares in the DMAT account, they can pledge their shares get 80%, after a haircut they may get 80%, 85% like that. With that particular amount, they can sell options. They are allowed to sell options, but they are not allowed to buy options. Even though when we consider seller is having more uh, probability, we should always be aware when the particular strike is crossed, they will close their position and they will move to the next strike. Today, if a particular strike is having a lot of open contracts, it does not mean tomorrow it will be the same. It will be moving. The support and resistance will be moving in the option chain. Using this option chain, we can find the support and resistance. Okay, this is how the technical people find support and resistance from the option chain or using option chain. I will make a simple presentation in the computer to show how we should open the option chain. How can we find out the support and resistance? How can we read the option chain? And uh, that's all from this video. And uh, let's go to the presentation and we will be back. Yes, friends, let's go to Google type option chain. Now NSE India. 
you see the simple here we have to enter the simple is nifty itself you can i'm giving nifty and expiry date uh, here we can select the clearly. expiry date if you can see, uh, see it clearly see i am giving the expiry date of uh, july 27 now i am recording this video on june but i am giving expiry date july last okay july last expiry 27th now here we can see the option chain of nifty in the side left side you can see call options and right side you can see the put options there are two type of options i will tell you and explain you how call option is calculated what are the what is call option what is put option who should trade call option who should trade put option everything in this video just i want to explain how technical analyst analyze the uh, option chain and find the support and resistance simply uh, watch this video and know how uh, the support and resistance is calculated by the technical people okay now when we come to the oi of the call option side you see i am scrolling down yes 19000 strike here you see 19000 strike is having the maximum number of open interest on the call side 28238 contracts are opened means this 28238 buyers are there and uh, lots are bought and 28238 lots are sold they are not closed so from the technical people's perspective 19,000 will be considered as the resistance for the month July okay on the upside now let's move to the put option side put or, let's move to the put option side okay you see where put option is having maximum open interest I'm just scrolling down you can do the same in your computer you just open the option chain uh, see where there are lot of contracts addition of contracts how this particular strike is varying and how the open interest keeps on changing every day or every week you can watch this okay it will be a funny thing actually if you do on your own definitely you will get a what we say a special uh, confidence that you have learned something new like that you can get a special feeling that's what i want that's what i am telling do on your own okay just watch the video once or twice and try to analyze the option chain i am always interested in analyzing and doing like this so i always ask everyone to do and uh, practice always always practice try to do something just blindly following some videos or uh, taking some informations from expert why the to stock market let's learn let's uh, know how support and resistance are uh, calculated by the technical people how they are working if you are really interested and passionate about stock market you can learn a lot and it is an interesting subject actually it's interesting for me and i think those who are interested and passionate about stock market only can succeed in the market if you are going behind tip uh, providers or any other people who advisors like that you can never succeed as a trader okay now uh, let's come to the point here you see 18000 strike 35,317 contracts are uh, open here in this particular strike. First, we saw 19,000 on the call side is having maximum open interest and it will be considered as the resistance for the month July. And now 18,000 on the downside is having the maximum open interest. So 18,000 strike will be considered as the support for the month july because we have selected the july last week expiry okay it can change the option chain can change the open interest can change from one strike to another and if you keenly watch you can find lot of lot of data and uh, this is open interest in this particular area and one more thing let me add some more things uh, you see this is uh, 
let me add some more things uh, this is open interest on the first column next the change of open interest yesterday how many open interest were uh, there how many open interest uh, changed uh, as of now that is given the second column the volume next iv that is implied volatility we can uh, talk it about later in detail this last traded price then change the bid quantity uh, ask quantity in the so those who are ready to sell is ready to sell for this price those who are asking and they are asking for this price this is given here on the call side the same is given in the put side too okay hi friends i think you got a good idea how to use option chain okay this is what i want to explain in this video i have made lengthy videos on psychology i have made a lot of videos regarding psychology how should we trade how a trader's mind uh, is disturbed in trading and a lot of psychological videos it lengths more than 25 or 30 minutes like that but sometimes if you are not a serious trader it may be boring for me those videos are very very important go and watch all the playlists where i have made a series of videos about the psychology and they are all very important videos regarding trading okay watch it repeatedly uh, because that is the basic of trading that is the basic of trading and without the knowledge of psychology without the knowledge of uh, what we say reading your mind you can't be a successful trader all other technical parts then what we say the uh, identifying support and resistance open interest and having any strategy all are always secondary okay it is always a mind game and uh, i think you may win the mind game by doing a lot of back testing and learning more learn more learn more i am uh, just giving a very short presentation in my upcoming videos i think to make my videos very short and each and every subject when i take i will try to um, minimize the time so that you may understand little by little or uh, in the video if i make it very lengthy uh, i have to include lot of uh, what we say informations sometimes it becomes so clumsy so in uh, my future videos or in the upcoming videos each and every small bite only one subject i will be taking in detail so that you may understand it very properly okay watch all my videos carefully and uh, all the best uh, for your trading career learn more earn more this is john kingston signing off from jr trading zone bye